the Odyssey. This ship was built primarily to salvage what was left of humanity. It was, in its sense, its own Project Zero Dawn, taking humanity away from Earth and into the stars. During 2041, it was climate change that drove them to escape. Now, this is before the climate change technology came in to reverse cycle and uh, restore Earth to what it was. The launch window was for 2080, which, as the text shows, would have been too late to reverse any effects to the Earth. So at this point, they were looking to build the Odyssey and escape it, during which humanity would probably be in shelters and underground facilities like they were towards the end of enduring victory. So it was the US, Western European Alliance, India, China and Japan that was investing in this. And the idea was to put embryos and a few personnel in a ship, launch it off towards a star we now know as Sirius X and just uh, colonize new planets. So that was basically the plan. But it didn't quite go all the way to, uh, to the plan for what they were hoping. There were labor disputes and financial problems. And as this text shows, this was 2051. So even though the drives were ready and they were on schedule for their 2080 launch window, uh, countries involved couldn't decide on uh, labor and finance. So already there were very terrestrial problems about the Odyssey and ultimately there wasn't a sense of work together to solve our way into the future because obviously by then it would have been too late. This resulted in uh, 2057 when the project was abandoned. It was doomed from the start from the fact that the countries couldn't agree and there was certainly a lack of uh, unity so the conflict between these countries doomed the Odyssey never to launch. Now this is where really the Odyssey story ends for these countries because after this they abandoned the project and left it in orbit to be sold later on. Enter Far Zenith. Far Zenith mainly was consisting of millionaires and billionaires who teamed up together and bought the Odyssey. The goal was uh, to put it into space travel um, and just to make space travel more glamorous, more graceful. And also, because they bought the Odyssey, they also needed to buy launch platforms like the original base for Zero Dawn, uh, which sent probes up into space to mine materials from asteroids. So we knew that they were doing some mining in the first place and that... Uh, they had bought the Odyssey and were perfecting it for space travel well before the Faro play came into effect. So this passage at the bottom is very interesting, I find, because it talks about not a desperate escape from Earth from climate change, but uh, successful space travel. And then it goes on here in this paragraph to say we have succeeded in our goal, which kind of makes me think that maybe they have achieved space travel of some sort. I mean, I think they, the Earth would notice if the Odyssey disappeared from orbit, but maybe on a smaller scale, they had run some tests and sent some probes or some people across the stars. As we watch the booster arc up into the night sky, riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand, squeezed it, and said, you have written the story of our family across the stars. So this uh, data log and text, I think, was important to include because it shows the original uh, Project Zero Dawn, but before that it was a launch site to send probes into space to gather resources like in uh, rare minerals and certainly just building materials from space. So we know that this was going on during the time before the Pharaoh Plague and then more so uh, after the Pharaoh Plague has been announced. A lot of these rare minerals were being quoted as being used in Zero Dawn as well as in the Odyssey. Um, mainly 
shielding seemed to be the main part of it to try and block off uh, the robots from sensing the uh, projects that lay beneath the ground as well as in building materials uh, uh, and it doesn't really go into great detail about what they were used for but we know that a lot of them were shipped to projects around um, Zero Dawn and as well as the Odyssey. Now during this time during the end of the war when there was a lot of strife a lot of problems and uh, as humanity struggled became more and more desperate someone could easily take advantage of that and ship off a quantity of minerals to an undisclosed location uh, I've discussed this in past videos maybe build a shelter underground just for humanity we know it's possible to shield it from the robots we know that um, plenty of zero dawn for sites were left completely unaffected by the swarm um, so we know that it is possible to do it but whether they'd be a long enough generator to sustain humanity in a shelter underground maybe not which makes space travel more of an option for me because obviously you can use the sun's radiation you can use solar radiation you can use all of that to power whatever is in space it doesn't have to be in orbit around earth it could be somewhere else so for me it's a viable option that humanity could have escaped or there could have been zygotes and seeds and another colony ship other than the odyssey waiting in space but i'll get back to that later on april the 1st 2065 the odyssey was declared ready by far zenith now the spokesperson for this again is Oswald and he represents the other 76 millionaires and billionaires with Far Zenith. Now we still don't know the identity of the rest of them and he is very coy it does say in this uh, text that he doesn't give anything away as to their identity. But we also know that there's only a few humans on board um, mostly it's seeds and the uh, little embryos waiting to be turned into humans um, as well as an alpha build of the Apollo so they had access to Apollo so Zero Dawn must have clued them in on that to say look you know we're gonna save humanity but at the end of this crisis as it gets worse it's going to be that we're gonna need to retrain humanity and teach them about their history so here's an alpha build of Apollo so that when you get to where you're going they can be taught about history and Far Zenith at this point is still confident that Horizon Zero Dawn can reverse this proceeding and stop the Faro Plague and reverse the climate change affected by uh, the Faro Plague. So at this point in my mind it sounds like they're pretty clued up as to what Zero Dawn is. They might have knowledge of what it is, what's going on. Don't forget the Pharaoh employee who did the um, the journals with the uh, waypoints with talking about his mother. He knew what was going on. He hacked into someone's device and found out. So for me, I think that's a clue. Other people outside horizon zero dawn seemed to find out or realize what's happening the data wasn't that hard to get hold of you could see them doing a lot of structural work to other buildings and i think at some point the secret must have got out that some other people must have found out the truth about what horizon zero dawn really was and maybe panicked or maybe uh put their eggs in another basket because uh enduring victory just basically meant curtains for humanity it would all come to an end so at that point you want to do anything you can to survive you know any other um, ending is preferable to just cancelling out yourself altogether so maybe they look to far zenith maybe they look to another colony ship to the stars maybe um the colony ship uh was the best bet to make it there they could have funneled even staff from zero dawn could have funneled 
um, resources into Far Zenith and have your eggs in both baskets. Because don't forget, they knew, the staff, the betas and the gammas, even the alphas, they knew what was going to happen. They knew what was going to happen, which kind of makes me wonder if Ted Farrow might have shunted some resources into Odyssey but we have no mention of him in the databases doing that if he did he did it very much on the sly now as you may know this next uh, log basically shows everything that we need to know about the Odyssey it says that the ship was completely destroyed its alpha build of the Apollo was destroyed now that n might not be the only build of Apollo they might have had one waiting um, back on earth that they copied on they might have had some more data regarding it uh, they might have had more zygotes or a storage facility somewhere else also far zenith consists of um oswald and 76 other members they never actually refer to them by name and he's very coy and very quiet about who they are and what they re represent so could the other members be an AI? Could they be Vast Silver? Could Vast Silver have seized funds, made up um, identities of all these people, and then helped to create Far Zenith? Now there's some evidence of that in this next recording. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Now, Vast Silver is the only AI I know of that's able to do that, that could actually affect another AI to that degree. It would have had time to learn and time to grow and adapt. I've done a whole thing on Vast Silver, so I'm not going to go on into it, but I'm just going to close with just a few questions that I don't think that any of us can really answer. Did the Odyssey really blow up? Well, there's a data log for it, but it might still be out there. Was there a conspiracy involved in Vast Silver? Who are the rest of the... Uh, Far Zenith, if not Far Silver, and what happened to them. And finally, the Alpha build of the Apollo. Did it survive? Where is it? Is it somewhere else in the world? Or is it on another spacecraft heading towards a distant star? Or is it returning to Earth? Could some of it have survived the explosion somehow? <sighs> we may never know these answers. But hopefully, in the next game, we might get a bit closer to the truth. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.